Hi, I'm Walter from the Zada Philippines. In this video, we will talk about how to edit product photos for white background, color cast, as well as how to recrop product image using Adobe Photoshop. First, we start with an assumption that the product photo we're about to edit has been shot with a slightly top lighting against a white paper background. This means the shadow falls up nicely on the bottom or slightly tucked behind the product. In Adobe Photoshop, open the file by clicking on File, Open, then select the image that you want to edit. Lazada recommends a minimum of 500 by 500 pixels to a maximum of 2000 by 2000 pixels. Click on Image, then Image File Size to check and set dimensions. We will choose a sweet spot in between that allows us room for recropping, just for safety or added options in the future. So, let's type in 1200 pixel at the longest axis with the thought that we will crop the image in 1 is to 1 aspect ratio or square format later in the process. Just a note, you may want to downsize the file early in the workflow, especially if you are working with multiple files to free up the PC's memory for faster processing. Okay, with that being said, let's proceed to editing for white background. The beauty of Photoshop is that there are thousands of ways to arrive in one final artwork. Few graphic artists work with pen tool when doing selection, that's fine. I respect that, but I find that tedious. What I'm going to teach you is editing through layer masks, which in my opinion is faster and more user-friendly. So, go to Layers window and create a curve layer mask. Then, go to Adjustment window to set highlights or white points in the image. Set the white points by clicking on the white dropper, then select the area on the image that should be absolutely white. If there's a black point in the image, click on the black dropper, then select that black area. What it does is correct any color cast in the image while fixing the exposure in one step. How cool is that, right? Oftentimes though at this stage, the white background is not yet absolute white. This means 255 values for RGB or red, green, blue. To check for white background, click on the eyedropper tool. Then, hover it in the area you want to check. Make sure you're in the background layer. So you hover it here. So from here, you'll see that it's not absolute white. This spot is not absolute white as the red is 250, the green is 249, and the blue is 259. While this area is perfectly white. As you can see that it's 255 in all RGB. Here's a quick fix for that. Click and drag the first layer to create new layer icon. But this time, select screen. You will see the immediate effect of lightening. But you want to keep the effect away from product to avoid overexposure. You can cover the effect by painting black on the product's layers mask. Click brush or keyboard shortcut B. Toggle with the brush size by clicking right bracket. Or left bracket for a smaller brush. If you want to soften the edge of the brush, you can press shift plus left bracket. Make sure you are on the right layer mask, then just paint the product black. Make sure your brush is painting black 
by pressing D and then X when you press X you toggle with white and black color so you need to have a black color for painting this black To recrop this rectangular image to square, we need to increase our canvas size. To do this, go to Image, then Canvas Size. Make sure you select the center part so that additional part of the canvas will be added on the perimeter. In this case, the longest axis is 16.667. So we'll just copy that. There. It's now in square format. You can further tighten cropping with 80% minimum product coverage in the canvas using the crop tool. To crop, click on cropping tool, then set the aspect ratio. Let's use 3 to 3 for a larger sample. Don't worry about increasing the file size. We can adjust accordingly when we save for web later. So let's make it as tight as possible. That looks good. So we finalize cropping. Before we flatten the layers, as final edit, we recommend that you put a little sharpening on your image. And we do this quite ironically, with the unsharpened mask filter. Choose value anywhere from 50 to 100. Then we're all set. To flatten the image, go to Layers, then Flatten Image, or press keyboard shortcut shift Control e To save for online publication, Go to File, then Save for Web. The main idea is to save the best version with the least file size. Try to keep it below 150 kilobytes, and we are good. Select High, then Quality 70. Then it's a wrap. That's it! You have just learned a valuable tip on content production. We look forward to more quality content submission from you soon. Thank you for watching this video and happy selling!